What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to show you guys how to make, um, how to mask butternut squash into macaroni and cheese, the way I do it at least. Um, part of my voice, I'm getting over a cold right now, so if I sound a little crazy, I apologize. But um, basically, um, I'm going to show you that I have a almost four-year-old daughter and um, she's really, really, really picky. I know a lot of people go through this, um, especially with kids that young, you know, they're picky. My daughter, as you guys, if you've seen the Day in the Life video, she goes to um, a therapist for her uh, food aversion. So uh, let's get started. Don't forget after this to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. It's L-U-I-S-I-T-O-D-A-G-R, the number eight. Don't forget to subscribe to my wife's channel, it's Chic Mommy 84 so let's get started guys. So first what you're gonna need is um, a box of macaroni, a butternut squash which I just started cutting but I can't film cutting it so when you see it again it'll already be cut up. Uh, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of Mrs. Dash, some butter and the water's about to boil. So when the water starts to get a little bit hot you're gonna take a teaspoon, a tablespoon I mean, of butter. Mix that in. Some garlic powder, and some this is that a little bit. And you're gonna mix that till it boils, and then when it starts boiling, you're gonna mix in the uh, squash. So I just put the squash in. And I'm just going to let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it gets really soft. And then we're going to uh, get to the back. So once you're able to take it out and if it squishes like that and it's real soft, it means it's almost done. It needs a little bit more time. But basically what you're going to do when you take it out is squish it all up and break it down as much as you can. What you're going to want to do after it's done cooking is you're going to want to take it out. I take it out with a spoon so that I have the water still with the other flavor in it to make the noodles. I'm just going to put it in a bowl and that's where you're going to start mashing it. Just added the noodles. Um, the water's heating up again. So then now, while that heats up, Sorry if the camera keeps moving. Um, you're gonna start taking the squash with a fork and you're just gonna kinda mash through it. So it's kinda like a mashed potato-y consistency. And I only cut a little bit of the squash. This isn't, obviously, this isn't a whole squash. It's like a third, or actually less than that. So it's gonna look like that. And then noodles are still boiling. The noodles are done. They take about eight minutes. You drain them, put them back in the pot, and then you're gonna take the squash before you add cheese or anything and you're going to add the squash in I didn't realize it would be this hard so you add the squash in first and you want the squash to be absorbed in the noodles before you add any cheese or milk or whatever else you're going to add. So you're just going to give it a good mix. And it tends to clump up a little bit so you want to spread it as even as you possibly can. Add your cheese powder. Normally when I do this I do this with regular pasta. I don't do it with like crafts macaroni but um, 
just because it's a lot easier. I'm doing it with that. And then your milk. I don't go by the amount it says. I just kind of eye it. And your milk, I need milk. You mix it all around. I just mix it, but it's hard for me to hold the camera. And if you can see that, it just looks like regular mac and cheese. So that's how you um, mask butternut squash with macaroni and cheese. So next time I promise I'll have a better recipe. And someone to help me with the camera.